basically CD6. Emilda Padilla, she came in first. Uh, they did have a progressive candidate going against her, but that person only got 11% votes. Marquise Dawson did not have any progressive candidates going up against him. He's pretty progressive himself. Then we had CD10, Heather Hutt. She came in first. She's in a runoff with Gracie Yu, and it's going to be an interesting race. Ray G. Jones Sawyer, a seasoned politician, a longtime politician, came in last. So this sends a strong message to all the seasoned politicians, 10, 20 years in politics. Your time's up. Your time's is up. You're done. Now they have this young progressive, you know, individuals and candidates coming into the game that are being backed, that are being funded. And basically the groundwork is phenomenal for all the progressive organizations. I got to give it to them. So they're killing it. And if you're an assembly member thinking you're going to come down to the city of L.A. and win an easy race and, you know, have a cushion job, think again. It ain't going to be easy. Progressive, young elected officials or candidates are coming in and getting elected left and right because that's what they're taught to do, because there's funding and organizations behind them, and because there's a bigger picture and a bigger purpose in place.